Luke 12, verse 2 to 3, actually to 5. It says, For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear in closets shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him which, after he hath killed, hath power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. So, I received this dream around August 26. I've been busy. Right after I had this dream, we went to Florida. And uh, then we moved. When we came back, we moved. So I've been pretty busy. And um, I wanted to do research and understand more about the spiritual meaning of um, some of the symbolisms and the meaning of this dream. It's about Obama. It's about witchcraft. So I message a dear sister in Christ that I trust. She's very um, wise and uh, a true woman of God, a true child of God, baptized by the spirit and fire of God. I think she's awesome and I just love her and I trust her. I messaged her the dream so that she would help me to understand what it could mean and she confirmed it when I woke up from the dream I pretty much knew it meant witchcraft so she confirmed it so let me get to the uh, details of the dream I dreamed last night I think that was August 26 2020 around midnight that Obama was evil and released a monstrous bright red centipede upon the world his face was beaming with evil he's smiling from ear to ear as he unleashed this huge bright red centipede into the world upon the world it's like he was huge upon the world like he was like the god of the world he was up there and he released this massive bright red monstrous centipede a precious little girl in a white dress and a stuffed toy, a teddy bear in her arm, dreamed Obama is the number 666 man, and she went to tell her loving parents about her dream. But Obama sent all of his demonized servants to tell the world, including the parents of this little girl, that it is not true. And that little girl she had in a beautiful white dress, white stands for, for stands for purity innocence um righteousness so so all of his demonized servants to tell the world including the parents of this little girl that it is not true so that no one will think or know that he is the wicked son of perdition the man of sin the antichrist like god has revealed to many of his servants globally including this precious little girl, she was about age five, who was shown in a dream of him being the number 666. In the dream, I saw the number 666, and it was like unveiled from the book, the page of the Bible, the Antichrist. I saw the numbers written out in the dream. In the dream, Obama sent his demonized servants slaves of Satan to follow the remnants of God to silence them from exposing who he is he wanted to work out his wickedness behind the scenes without anyone knowing of his evil deeds plans and agendas such as working through and with um, all those um, organizations like the Black Lives Matters and the GTB what is it called LGTB whatever I can never say that right um, you know, so many 
evil plans that's against God, against America, against this nation. And uh, in the dream, I was revealed, it was revealed that he does not want anybody to know and he wanted um, his demonized servants to go around discrediting um, the prophetic voices of God who's revealing his identity, who's revealing who he is and all the corruption and deceitfulness and the evil agendas that he's doing behind the scenes. Okay. Also, I want to mention that um, I recently, in my research, watched some videos about the Black Lives Matters um, uh, founders. They're all witches and they're all into the same witchcraft and stuff that he's into. So let me keep going. All right. All right. So where did I leave off at? I'm sorry. Let's see. Okay. All right. In the dream, Obama sent his demonized servants. Bye. Are you I'm recording? Yeah. I'll be in a Hello. bit. Goodbye. Okay. In the dream, Obama sent his demonized servants, slaves of Satan, to follow the remnants of God to silence them from exposing who he is. He wanted to work out his wickedness behind the scenes without anyone knowing of his evil deeds, plans, and agendas. His evil servants came for me, surrounded me, and began to accuse me of lying for exposing him to the world through all the dreams these three years that the Lord has been showing me of him being empowered by Satan to take his position as the Antichrist or as the son of perdition. But as soon as Obama's evil servants began to slander me and prick their fingers upon my body, a white robe enveloped me from head to toe, hiding me from my accusers and enemies. Although I was standing in their midst and could hear and see them as they wondered, where did she go? The Lord hid me from their eyes. But eventually, one of them was wise enough to figure out that I was still there, just hidden in a white sheet. White means righteousness. A white robe means righteousness, the righteousness of Christ. Or robe, white sheet or white robe that was covering me. They were sent to discredit and slander all of the remnants of God who exposes Obama. And I saw that Obama came after me and my family. I told my 10-year-old son to tell my husband of who Obama is and to watch out for him. My son Ethan believes the word of God and he believes and honor me and my testimony concerning God and his word. All right. I was made to know that Obama persecuted the saints of God. I would like to gain more insight on the spiritual meaning of Obama releasing the monstrous centipede. I believe it's some kind of witchcraft that Obama is into, that the Holy Spirit is exposing, which means Obama is a witch. Witchcraft, uh, so my uh, sister in Christ re replied back. She said, it's witchcraft, sis, shamanism, animal magic, centipede is a totem animal in shamanism. I still don't understand what all that means, but I believe her. He's a sarcoma a witch doctor, divination, Kenya's ancestral roots, he's a warlock. He uses spells on people, he is using enchantment spells on people and has a seducing spirit on him. So that is the um, understanding that I've received from this dream. Um, please, take, please take it to the Lord and share anything else that the Holy Spirit may give you on this so that we could all learn and understand together, amen. So do not fear Obama, do not fear anything, any power, anywhere, amen? Only fear God. He alone is our master, our savior, our God, our deliverer, and he alone has the power to both kill and cast the souls of human beings, the souls of humanity into hell. So we fear only him, amen? All right, guys, I gotta go. God bless you.